a love spell for me So she will want me Uh, tonight we're doing something a little different. Uh, this is uh, Eugene Stickland, Alberta's premier playwright. Uh, hoping everyone can give him a nice warm welcome. Uh, he's going to be reading from his uh, book tonight called The Piano Teacher. Uh, just came out. And uh, from that you guys can draw inspiration and create whatever you like. It's going to be pretty free-flowing. Uh, so with that, uh, here's Eugene. The lesson happened. The young creature in the company of her ailing mother arrived at 10 a.m. sharp. I had prepared coffee and a plate of chocolate macaroons, but was informed by the child that seven-year-olds aren't allowed to drink coffee. I promised to lay in some hot chocolate for next week. The mother sat in one of the Queen Anne chairs by the window, hardly obtrusive, but nonetheless present, probably even content to be here. I sat the girl down on the bench, showing her the keys Starting a course with middle C, I showed her how you can find the C before the two black keys, and then I had her play all the C's up and down that she could find on the keyboard, and she managed to find most of them. I took the music, etc., off the lid. So he's got a grand piano. It's six foot six is a Steinway. So what normally happens in a piano studio is that the lid is closed and it piles up with, with stacks of music and books and stuff. So he takes all that off the lid and opens it so that she can, um, yeah, I showed her the strings, how the hammers work, how they make the strings vibrate. It always fascinates me to look inside the mechanism, but I forget the time, I forget to take the time to do it. I would have to say it was a great success. I really do find it exhausting to be around children for any length of time. They're so needy, so unformed, so small. They either take things far too seriously or not seriously enough. You can never tell which it's going to be. I suppose it's different if they're your own. I wouldn't know, and I don't suppose I'm about to find out anytime soon. <laughs> so I'll leave you with that. Uh, you. You know you're the first people in the world to, to hear any of yeah. these novels. Yeah. I grow in a new style on the contemporary art on the century 21 and I name it Selfismo. 
Okay. Yeah, that's the little history of this.